I've come to Malta to discover the rich history, Ooh. the vibrant culture, and most importantly, some really incredible food. Wow. And my first stop is the capital city, Valletta. And I'm here to meet my guide for the day. Cheers. Cheers. Chef Marvin Gauci is a true culinary sensation. From restaurants to magazines and TV screens, he is Malta's taste ambassador. Marvin, how are you? Not so bad, brother. How are you? Great to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. We are in Birgo right now, in the middle of three cities. And we're going to go to head to Valletta from here. We're going to take the boats. This is the best way to do it, OK? A man with a plan. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. According to Marvin, this is without a doubt the best way to see the three cities, which are pieces of living history kept alive by hundreds of years of preservation. Marvin, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving Malta. Where are we right now? Well, at the moment, we're between a lot of big boats. As I see you that. See. But we're in the Grand Harbour of Malta. It's uh, one of the most uh, important harbours in the world. This is one of the few harbours that is completely fortified and within three cities. Um, here on my right, there is Sanglea. Uh -huh. Over there, there is Cospicua. We're heading to Valletta right now. And Valletta, since 1980, has been acknowledged as, uh, as uh, the World Heritage UNESCO and all those uh, titles that they give That them. are important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fortified cities sit like a trio of villages in the heart of Malta's historic centre, directly across the Grand Harbour from Valletta. Speaking of which, that's where we're off to now. Off to Valletta too! To Valletta! Valletta is the capital city of Malta, known for its rich history, architecture and its vibrant food scene. In addition to its traditional cuisine, Valletta is also home to a thriving coffee culture. Welcome to Café Cordina, one of the oldest coffee shops in Valletta. They started uh, in 1837 in uh, Burgu, mm -hmm. and then uh, that was heavily bombed, and then they set shop in Valletta. It's a beautiful uh, architecture yeah. as well. The paintings are, are from uh, Giuseppe Cali, a local artist. Okay. And they're known for their good coffee and pastries. I can see that. Look at this. Saha. Cheers. Saha. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Uh, this looks fantastic. Cafe Cordina is famous for its variety of sweet treats and savory delights. This is cannoli, yeah. and this is a pudding, a bread pudding. Okay. Do Maltese people have a sweet tooth? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Everybody has a sweet tooth. Oh, that's true. Look at this. Oh my god. Amazing. If you come to Valletta, this is a destination. You have to come here, start off your day, coffee, sweet treats. It's the kind of place I could see people. You're, you're still eating. <laughs> I mean, even this beautiful building we're in, like, I can see why people would flock here. This has history in it. Yeah. You know, I mean, not only have good coffee and good paint, but has history in it. Yeah. So this is the heart of Valletta. Yes, yes. The saluting battery ceremony is a tradition that dates back to the time of the Knights of St. John, who ruled Malta between the 16th and 18th centuries. Now, I'm told the purpose of the ceremony is to mark when there's different festivals and ceremonies throughout the year, but also when important dignitaries arrive and depart. So I guess they knew I was coming. Visitors gather to witness the firing of the cannons, which pays homage to the island's historical defence strategies. The event is meticulously choreographed, with uniformed soldiers carrying out the precise drills and commands. Oh, we cover our ears. Jeez! Holy moly! A little bit louder than I was expecting. <laughs> hey! Well done, that was great! I feel so welcome. <laughs> now this place is a proper slice of history. You can see the beautiful fortified walls here of Emdina, which is known as the Silent City. And I meant to be going in with my guide, but I don't know where he's gone. Marvin! 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 Uh, Grace. Emdina, known as the Silent City, is a historic fortified town. With a history spanning over 4,000 years, it is one of Europe's oldest settlements. Its narrow streets, palaces and churches reflect the medieval and Baroque architecture. Emdina was the location for a lot of the scenes in the first season of Game of Thrones, and I can see why. Marvin, I mean, I think you're taking me to all the best places. What is this all about? This is the first capital city of Malta. 
in Medina. It's a medieval city. So, au contraire to Valletta, which is Baroque, this is more medieval. As you see, the windy roads, the narrow, you know, that it's beautiful. It's a slice of history. I mean, you see the walls, you can feel that this place has seen quite a lot over the years. Even if you close your eyes, you can feel it. There is a real sense of history. It's special. Spectacular. I love street food, and whenever I'm away, I try to find the best and most authentic places. There you go. Where you ask for street food, and I got you in the heart of it. This is one of Malta's most popular places for pastizzi. This is Malta's favorite street food. Fluffy, savory pastry stuffed with ricotta cheese Whoa. and mushy peas. Wow. It's incredible. It's really flaky. And I love the atmosphere. The, the lads drinking their beer, having a pastizzi. It's amazing. Everyone's no, very happy. Very local. This feels to me like the real Malta. I love to see it. The Mediterranean is renowned for its world-class wine, and Maltese wine is no exception. We've come to the Meridiana Wine Estate, which produces some of the best Maltese wine using only grapes grown in their very own vineyard. Marvin. I know you have a tendency to bring me to the best places, but this is spectacular. Sun is setting, we're in a vineyard. Tell me about this place. This used to be an old airfield during the Second World War. Wow. They used to land over here. We're also enjoying a nice bottle of wine. That's the most important thing. That is thing. always a good thing to end the day with. This is fabulous. So what are we drinking? We're drinking 100% Merlot, and uh, this bottle of wine is quite elegant. Mm. It's been aged uh, for 10 months in French used oak barrels and as you see it, it's nice and structured it's absolutely gorgeous and i mean what a place to end the day it's spectacular a vineyard as far as the eye can see you bring me to good places marvin that's for sure it's beautiful you only deserve that donald you only deserve that <laughs> well thank you so much it's been an absolute pleasure saha and cheers from malta cheers <laughs> Next time, I've been set loose on my own to explore the island of Goza. Give us a hug. Try my hand at making a Maltese delicacy. Not bad for a first time, right? Yes, well done. Sample the nightlife of Valletta. Cheers. And take a dip in one of Malta's most Instagrammable swimming spots. See you next time. <laughs>